Now, the Bible, you got two testaments in the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament. The Old Testament begins with a book called Genesis. It ends with a book called Malachi. The New Testament begins with a book called Matthew. It ends with a book called Revelation. Now, between the last book of the Old Testament, Malachi, and the first book of the New Testament, Matthew, there are over 500 years of silence when God does not speak and nothing is communicated. In the Old Testament of the Bible, there are what are called messianic prophecies. These prophecies tell you about the arrival of the king of heaven on earth. I've got lots of friends in the Middle East because I've done a lot of work there in the Middle East. I've got lots of rabbi friends. I said to one of my rabbi friends, I said, Rabbi, I said, let's hang out for a, a morning in a, you know, a coffee shop. And I said, listen, what we'll, let, let, let's just read all the messianic prophecies. I said, Rabbi, how many are there? He said, 300. I said, well, actually, 322. He says, yes, of course, yes, of course. So I said, you read one, I read one. You read one, I read one. You read one, I read one. When we've read all 322, I'll just say to you, Rabbi, does that remind you of anyone? <laughs> the 322 prophecies tell you where he's going to be born, how he's going to be born, how he's going to grow up, what he's going to say, how he's going to die. You've even got the number of coins that will be used to betray him. Do you know what the mathematical compound probability is of 322 prophecies being fulfilled in one man at one moment in time? It is one over 84 with 100 zeros. In other words, it doesn't happen every day. 